Hey everybody, it's me, the Guru. Hope everybody's well, fine, and spiritually good and healthy. And also, I hope you found your spiritual match in 219, as I always say, and I always will. Look, I've got one thing. It's just a himha. I was just sitting here um, once again. Look, you guys, I love to know about knowledge. And one way we do that is the news and other things, apart from talking to people and reading, I like to read, and that sort of thing. So when something interesting comes up or spikes my interest or niggles me, I kind of feel that it wouldn't only niggle me, it would niggle heaps and heaps of people. And this is my niggle for today, okay? I'm going to call it the niggle, the niggle session, okay? What it is, I was just sitting there, okay, and I was watching, I think it was Current Affairs or the news or something like that, one of them. But anyway, and it was actually stating how um, these uh, people, now society, <laughs> isn't it funny, these people, we'll call them society, society you know, as a whole, okay, is getting niggled and upset and now they wanted to retaliate against the young society, the young pups. Okay, all right, now there's a lot of um, law-breaking and it's been increasing over the years, as we can see, okay? But if you look in the whole, I was born in the 60s. Now, the people that read me were from the 50s, the 40s, and the 30s, okay? Okay. Now, I had my children in the 90s. So I was rearing my children from the 90s to the 2000s. So the way I was brought up in my generation is very different the way I was brought up and the way I was to think my opinion on, on everything. But I now, uh, well, I have, I've, uh, I've adapted through time and life, you know, and living through the generations as a young pup myself, okay, um, and understanding the young generation and what they're all about, okay, because I was young and I went through the 70s, 80s, the 90s, and of course in the 90s I had my babies, uh, my first one at 25. So, you know, it's not like I'm not talking about something I don't know or have not experienced. And the thing is, what they're saying now is all with these uh, young people that are breaking the law and how they're all out of control and so forth, is that society allowed it in the first place. The law allowed it. It started in our schools, and how could they say it couldn't? Because anybody from the 60s, right, and earlier than that, would say the way we were taught and what we were taught at school and our values, everything has totally changed, even the way they teach kids, okay? And that is just as plain as the nose on my face, and that's true, okay? So they started in the schools. Then they started, okay, with laws okay um you know what that what are they please call it cautions and casera and other people but they've allowed it okay and they've allowed it through the government through their payments and whatever else but the thing is you know the young pups they're not to blame okay they're not to blame they're just lost they're confused they have no vision on what the future is and how could they possibly know what the future is? They don't know anything. And they're allowed to leave the age of 17 at school. If, if, if that's not the case, then they're thrown out early in life, okay, from their parents through drug addiction, alcohol addiction, you know, uh, you know, whatever else, and the government says, oh, well, you know, the age of 13, you can go into Centrelink and you can claim a payment. I think that's still ab they're still able to do that. Now, how ludicrous. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of women, people, like your families, that are they're real arseholes to their kids. Come on. We've got to be honest. But there's a lot out there that are trying to get their kids on the straight and narrow, and they can't because the law's not behind them. Okay. And that's in every possible way. The law's not behind them. So when they are chastised, the parents are held for account too, which is, to me, stupid. 
you know, and you get people that are child killers and whatever else and serve a little bit of time in, in, in jail to find that they're released in a couple of years. That to me, what? Well, it's capricious, stupid, isn't it? Huh? It is. And these kids, they're saying now something's got to be done. They've got to be punished. Well, how about the government give young people of society a vision, a purpose, instead of penalisation? That's all they're doing is penalise them. What are they putting them in? A kid's home? Jail? What's next? Haven't their lives been ripped apart and hard enough as is? I mean, do you ever stop to think? Kids weren't born assholes; They were born innocent little babies with pure, pure, honest-to-goodness hearts. From the time they looked up to their mother, their first look, you know? They're not bad. So how about society... Realise there's a lot of there's a lot of kids out there. They don't know it's the drugs, it's the alcohol, it's everything. It's out of control. I understand that everybody understands that. But how about instead of jails and kids' homes and all that, they don't do no good. Okay, because I can tell you, I was in one. I was made state ward. That was the only thing I knew until I was old enough to be able to go out on my own. Okay. And the thing is, it did me the world of good there because I actually, you know, I've never broken the law in my life. <laughs> so, you know, so how about give them a vision? Not of being state water or anything like that. I'm not talking about that. What I'm saying is give these kids a vision, okay? Instead of, uh, you know, and when they go to court, oh, well, we'll go to therapy or go to, you know, uh, what is it? Um, uh, the, uh, with a, uh, seek some sort of psychological or psychoanalysis to talk to somebody about your problems, you know? Uh, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's ridiculous. These ki kids don't want to talk about things. They've had enough shit in their life. So how about maybe if they're caught and they are held accountable, okay, apparently it's the age of 10 that a, a child is held accountable in the court of law. So how about give them a vision? We talk about armies, navies, marines and all this sort of thing. How about maybe these kids want a vision. They want to learn things. A lot of them haven't got fathers. A lot of them haven't got mothers. And if they have, well, you know, read between the lines. And if they do have family, maybe read between the lines instead of making them foster care them and adopting them out. How about make them one big family? After all, they are street kids, most of them and all of them. They know one another. They're family. Come on, wake up society. They're all family. So how about give these people, the lost generation, a vision? Make them the elite force. They're waiting for it. They want knowledge. They want to be shown. These kids are hard and tough. They're tough. They're shit tough. But use. That and, and, and guide them and train them and give them something, a purpose in life, instead of, what, always penalising the poor young pups? Haven't they done enough? I mean, they've got a lot of society we never had. All right, fair enough, they do. But apart from that, they don't have direction, do they? No, they don't. So anyway, that's my little... Niggle for today, my little hoo-ha niggle for today. I hope you girls or whoever hears this, you know, really finds it interesting. And try and give me some feedback. I, I love your views. Love them. But the thing is, I would like a, a like, maybe. <laughs> Please be nice to me. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this. And as I always say from the guru, look after yourself. And as I said, your four codes, what are they? Respect, dignity and honour and the last little one, integrity. That's the biggest one of all. Okay, so any young pups out there hearing this, you know, uh, I know if you're lost, then society should give you a direction. No wonder they're, you know, acting up. Okay, bye from the guru.